friends, today we're going to talk about what to expect from me in January. Technically this is kind of like a what to expect for 2022 video, um, but if you watched yesterday's advent video which was me trying to give someone advice about how to balance all of their hobbies and me having an existential crisis that was five minutes ago for me but for you it was a whole day so I've been planning this video for a little while and we're just going to talk about like what you can expect from me as a creator in 2022. First things first I have made a pact with Kate Cavanaugh to at the end of January trade off our current work in progresses. Mine is the French Grim Reaper, hers is Project Death. Lots of death going on in our worlds. Um, we will be trading projects and critiquing them for each other and so there is a solid deadline on that. So my goal is to, I guess this is going to start with like a little bit before 2022, but hey here we go. I am taking the week of Christmas to New Year's off of YouTube so there will not be any videos that week considering I've done a video every day for 25 days I think y'all gonna be all right uh, but I'm gonna take that week off and I am going to pre-film for January so that I have nothing to touch in January as far as content wise and I can solely focus on books writing books so that's like the first thing so pretty much everything you get in January will be pre-filmed other than the live shows and you may get extra live shows in January because I'm gonna be need to work so there may be extra live shows um what I have decided that I will be doing in January is rather than having a set schedule and this may be confusing to you and if it is you can ask for a clarification in the comments and I will try to help you out the best I can um but rather than have a set filming schedule like I have now where one week I do Tuesday, Thursday, and the next week I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What I'm doing next year is I am going to assign each day of the week a specific type of video. So Monday is vlog videos and Tuesday is my random whatever I have video that doesn't fit any of the other categories. Wednesday is writing related. Thursday is wrap up videos and Friday are live streams and so basically what I'm going to do is is if I have content for that week and it fits one of those categories or the Tuesday category then I'll post on that day that week and if I don't have anything for it then I'm not posting anything. I'm not prioritizing trying to make the algorithm happy anymore because that's clearly not working anyway. So rather than try to make the algorithm happy, I'm just going to create content I want to create when I want to create it. And so will there be less videos from me? Possibly. Will there be more? Also possibly. So I don't know how much content there will be next year, at least especially at the beginning. Each video will correlate to whatever the theme is for that day. So some weeks I may have four videos that I post because I had something I wanted to talk about in all four of those categories. And then the next week you may have nothing because I didn't have anything I wanted to talk about in any of those categories. So I feel like rather than forcing myself to come up with ideas or to like come up with something or to give myself these like hardcore deadlines, I think this is going to be an easier process for me. Now, if we get to the end of January or the end of February and I feel like this isn't working out, then I may change it. But it's something that I want to try implementing to see if that helps me out any with just feeling overwhelmed by all of the things. I will be in January um, still doing a lot of like the end of year content as far as like wrapping up things that I set up for 2021 that I wanted to accomplish. And in December during Advent, you will be getting a couple of like my most anticipated release of 2022. We'll also be talking about um, backlist priorities for 2022 and like my planners, what I'm taking planner wise into 2022. So like those things we'll be talking about in Advent rather than in January, like we have in years past. And I'm not setting myself as many goals this year. I'm not setting as many rules and regulations for things essentially. 
I'm trying to be a little more lax and less stringent upon myself of what I expect from myself. I'm trying to just like take a breather. And part of that is participating in less book clubs and readathons and things of that nature as well. Um, there are book clubs that I absolutely love participating in, like Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club. I love that, but I'm going to be more choosy about whether I read the books or not. And I have gotten better at that in the second half of this year as well. Um, but previously, like, it was a group book, so I had to read it. And, like, I would read the group book for, like, two or three different group books for my local book, my local indie bookstore, plus uh, the Patreon book club, plus the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge plus whatever else anybody else talked about they were doing. And I was like, I need this community aspect, so I have to read this book so I could be part of the community. La, 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 la. Going crazy. And I'm just not doing that anymore. Um, if I'm not genuinely interested in reading the book, then I'm not joining the book club. And that's that. Speaking of the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge, um, the challenge is going into 2022, so it will continue. Uh, but I have already discussed, like, in the chat with those of you whom I love very much uh, in the chat. I will still be around in the chat, and I will still be doing um, the group watch-alongs if I'm free on the days that they are being done. And I will continue to do group books if I am um, interested in the group book. But I'm not going to be doing, like, the challenges and the battles and the all of the things that like put my reading completely out of whack and like trying to do like the mission logs and all of those things um because it's just too much I love I have loved it this year it has been so much fun and I completely appreciate the amount of work that these girls have put into this read along challenge because it has been fantastic and it has been so much fun um but I just have other priorities for next year and as much as I would love to continue to participate in it I've definitely fallen off in the last couple of months anyway. Um, since October, it's been a lot harder for me to participate in any of the challenges. And so I'm just going, walking straight into 2022, knowing that I'm not doing them unless it is something that is like super easy and just like a fun couple of day challenge. Um, but some of them have been month long challenges and I just can't, I, I just don't have the energy or the time right now with everything else going on. So um, I'm taking a step back from that as well. Same with book club books and <laughs> reading challenges and readathons. Um, there are a couple of readathons that I love to do every year. I I love to do my summer scare readathon. Still gonna host that. Don't worry, she not going nowhere. Um, the twenty four hour rereadathon. You'll probably see that again in twenty twenty two. I'll probably talk Kate into that. I love to reread books, so it's super fun for me to just like have twenty four hours where I can reread a bunch of books. But because I run that, I can make it when it works at a time for me. <laughs> so that's easy. Are you still going to see three worldwide ride -thons? Absolutely. Not getting rid of those. They'll still be around. God bless America and also Samantha for being the help that she is. And also we're pulling in other people to help help with things. So um, I'm not going to be reliant completely upon myself. I've had Sam the last couple of rounds and she's been a fantastic help. If you're not already subscribed to Samantha, you absolutely should be. It's Ready Mom Samantha El Nasa, and I will link her in the description box down below for you. Um, Sam is fantastic and wonderful, and she does live streams on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm almost always there in the chat, if not on screen, um, because uh, she's fantastic. There's going to be a huge um, Christmas time, end of the year party on next Tuesday. I know, normally it's Monday, but her regulars were available on Tuesday. But, it, but it's a thing and I'll be there and it's after an author tube chat. I'm strictly leaving an author tube chat and going to a party. So, um, speaking of overloading myself with things in 2021, um, but yeah, so World War Marathon, we'll still be around. We'll still be doing that. Um, just getting more help and, um, you know, having the fun. Will I still be doing like Camp Nanos and NaNoWriMo? Probably. Um, what other readathon do I enjoy doing? I'm doing the reindeer readathon this month and I am enjoying doing that, but I'm not doing very well. So <laughs> who knows? Uh, this year we did the whatever thon. I really liked that. Um, there's usually like a spooky one that I do in the fall that I like at Halloween time, but also I try to read 31 books in October. Will I still be trying to read 31 books in October? The answer to that is absolutely. Um, because I like to stress myself out in October. Um, so 
I'm gonna still be doing a lot of the things that I love to do. I'm just going to be doing less of them, if that makes sense. Like rather, rather than doing every book club and every readathon and every challenge and every everything that I can shove in, I'm just gonna do like 25% of them. 25%. Uh, to make room for things like writing and being more writing focused in 2022 when you're gonna be writing forward I will still be doing the TBR takedown, but I'm not gonna be probably as harsh on that But I have been better about not I've been Mostly purchasing books that I've already read. So it's not really been affecting the TBR as much um, other than books that I've been getting in um, Different book boxes, which I'm probably going to stop getting after this month I think I'm going to connect some book boxes because while I do enjoy getting them and I do enjoy the fun of them, I am not doing a great job of reading the books I've been getting. So probably going to nix those. It's a lot. It's like at the end of this year, I've really just been burnt out and having, this is such a weird thing to say, having that week um, with Devesha and Wallace and Katie Ann and just like, that was my vacation week, but my vacation week was also me working and trying to figure out how to replot my story and like discussing my book and Katie's book and Wallace's book and like doing all these things. And I'm like, this is my vacation week. You're insane. And while it was like a super fun weekend and I would 100% do it again, I had a great time and I love those girls and we had so much fun. Like normally when I take a vacation week, like I lay around the house in my pajamas and watch TV all week. And I didn't do that this year. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> you need to bring it back. Like you need to, you need to just, you just bring it back. And just having talks with them and realizing that I am doing way too much. The realization point for me was the dance party of the write-a-thon when I was just not mentally present. Like I had mentally checked out while running <laughs> a 48 hour write-a-thon in the middle of it. And in the middle of a live stream, in the middle of a dance party, and just had mentally checked out. I was gone. There, I was not there. In fact, I physically checked out in the middle of said dance party. Sam showed up and I was just like, I'm gone. Like, just... I was gone. I And looking back at that, that was the moment when I realized that I needed to uh, pull back quite a lot and so I've been spending the past couple of months trying to figure out what I'm going to do moving forward and how I'm going to do that and what way I can do that authentically and still be present in my friendships and present in my communities and present in my every day-to-day -day life um, and I'm just very I'm trying to figure everything out and and if, if you guys have any uh words of wisdom for me I would greatly take them uh whether in the comments or you know dms on instagram or whatever what have you or you know if you know where to find me you can come to my house and knock on my door that's creepy don't do that that's where we're at with 2022 Jessica is reining it in if you feel like my eyes have glazed over at some point throughout the year and you are one of those people who can tell when it's too much, please feel free to be like, yo, remember that video you made in December about how you were pulling it back? You're supposed to be pulling it back. Feel free. Cause I might need it. Cause I get so excited about things and I'm like, yes, I have to do all of this. And then you don't have to do all of this. You don't have to do any of it. You need to take a break. That's what 2022 is gonna look like. It's going to be 25% me. Yeah. So that's it for me today. Let me know in the comments how your 2022 is going to differ from your 2021. Like, do you need to be more productive? Do you need to be less productive? Do you need to do something different to be productive? Like, let me know down below how that's working out for you. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week if you don't want to miss anything going on in the future, including the remainder of Advent. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.